টেরেসা করুণ্ডি উরুগুয়ের লেখক কবি শিল্পী হিসাবে জনপ্রিয় টেরেসা উরুগুয়েতে বিশ্ব কবিতা উৎসবের অন্যতম আহ্বায়ক তিনি আর্জেন্টিনার পালেরমো বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় এবং ব্রাজিলের ফেডারেল বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ে কবিতা বিষয়ক কর্মশালা করিয়েছেন তিনি উরুগিয়ে ও আর্জেন্টিনায় তিনি সম্পাদনা করেছেন আন্তর্জাতিক কবিতা সংকলনের পৃথিবীর বহু আন্তর্জাতিক অনুষ্ঠানে পুরস্কৃত হয়েছেন তিনি my country and it is very close to Buenos Aires, 30 minutes away in a flight time. I'm a poet, I'm a performer, a communicator and also a cultural manager. I thank Partha for this invitation to send my, my video to this platform, Samantara, which I think it's a great opportunity for all the artists that uh, like to share or want to share their um, creations. And uh, in these times, it is uh, very nice to know different poets from all parts of the world. So I embrace this kind of projects or global projects that try to make this world a little smaller than it is. I write, I'm, I, I used to write since I'm a, a very little girl since a child, since I was a child. But I don't think I have influences, in, in direct influences in my writing, because as I am reading and I'm a great uh, poetry reader and also a philo philosophy reader, I receive all those kind of influential, in, in, influences and um, sorry for my e English, it, I know it's poor. And um, I received this, this input to, to create. Uh, I really love, uh, uh, as a universal writer, Jorge Luis Borges, because he, the, the Argentina, Argentinian writer, because he creates so many words that seem to be real and he has a, a subtle and um, philosophical point of view which really seduces me. I'm trying to remember all the things that I have to say during this interview. I think that my, my writing um, is a kind of search. I'm trying to open philosophical questions and I think that poets, poetry it's, and poems are a way to deconstruct the reality, to give us different point of views about the things we see. So I used to work with different languages. I'm making a kind of experiment since a few years ago because I've learned some uh, German, uh, uh, also Italian and English. And I'm trying to play with languages because I think that poetry is a matter of musicality and it doesn't matter the language because something is always sounding there. So I'm going to read for you two poems in the versions, in two versions, one in Spanish and the other in another language so that you can see this um, musicality that I'm talking about. This poem has a, a quote of Ezra Pound 
and starts like this. Los sueños pueden ser verdad, por ello en sueños vengo a ti. Es Rapound. Al andar por el camino de los reinos, un cielo amarillado amaga con secar el mar, trazar su abrazo terrestre con línea sutil de nácar. Sueña el sendero de los sueños, la tibieza de largas pestañas de su rey, el aliento lisonjero de su reina. I will read it in English now. The dreams alone can truly be, for this in dream I come to thee, Ezra Pound. When marching by the kingdom's path, a yellowish sky threatens to dry the sea, to trace its certain breeze with subtle pearly line. Dream the way of dreams, the warmth of long eyelashes of its king, the fluttering breath of its queen. And now I will read one in Spanish and its version in German. Late, tal vez, porque en el sueño lo mentado perece. Un piano de puntillas crea la medida del sol y el corazón cede su blancura ciega para peinarse como alga en el río. Jamás había soñado con la jerga del agua. Ahora que la intento, punza la lengua. The version in German. Vielleicht schlägt es, weil der Genannte im Schlaf stirbt. Ein Klavier auf zehn Spitzen schafft das Maß der Sonne und das Herz gibt sein blindes Weiß auf, um sein Haar wie Zitang im Fluss zu kämen. Ich habe noch nie vom Wasserjagon geträumt. Jetzt, wo ich es versuche, sticht mir die Zunge. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And um, thank you, Partha, for, for this wonderful time to share. Thank you.